<laughs> well, I got everything done today and I was trying to get these videos done for you guys, but it was not gonna happen. Uh, it's dark now, it's 7.30. Uh, we had to go to the grocery store, I had to get some chicken. Supper is chicken tonight. We had to go to the grocery store, just got back from London, obviously most of you guys know. I held true to my word. Two horses we bought in London. Uh, I like quite a few more. Ava. I like quite a few more, but... I tried to buy uh, two. Ava, stop. But it was, uh, they were just too expensive, right? I held up on a couple of horses, and, and I talk about this all the time, the timing of the sale, the placement of the horses in the sale. I went past, I told you guys this this morning, I went past Canadian Titan's brother and a really good looking uh, classic card shark colt at 18,000 in search of the El Sonio dreams I was talking about. I didn't end up with one, not one. Uh, the last guy went for 20, Bombogenic, or I think that's his name. He went for 20. Um, the other filly went for 18. But at that time, I had already bought one that I did want. I talked to you guys in my in my video briefly, Ava, video briefly about um, number 183, Where We Welcome. Now, when I went to the sale yesterday, and you can't see that, it's just a blur. Two big yeses for Where We Welcome. But uh, the problem with Where We Welcome was, as I said, and I was truthful with everybody, if you remove Peaceful Way from this family, not a lot to look at, right? But I wasn't buying the pedigree, right? We were looking at all the muscle masses. They all look nice. In my opinion, my humble opinion, the ones that I looked at, none of them looked as good as, as Where We Welcome. This filly was well put together and big and strong. And I had looked at lots of horses over the past four or five years that were out of this same family, but none of them looked as good as this one. And yeah, I can tell you the downside of this pedigree is if you remove Peaceful Way, there's nothing here, but she is there. And the filly we bought was a beautiful filly, especially after I talked to the breeder and they were telling me about the particular family in question here, Noble Peace Prize. I drove Noble Peace Prize five, six times. She was okay. She certainly was no peaceful way, but she was okay. She threw four horses. The first one was a Chapter 7 that sold for $100,000. And they said, got really ornery and study and hard to deal with. And just didn't end up being a very good racehorse. Uh, the second one was a Donato Hanover that, truthfully said by the breeder, just didn't stand good. They kept her and bred her. The next two were both bought by European investors and sent right to Europe. They didn't get a chance to race. Not here, anyway. So... That's a story on the front end, the first dam. Second dam, obviously, Peaceful Way, is in there. Um, but my whole impression of this, one, I told you guys that we couldn't afford it, and I know a couple of our clients asked for a price point, and I told them, I thought the horse was worth thirty-eight dollars to $42,000 on looks. I like the video, pedigree, you could take it or leave it, but the horse itself, thirty-eight to $42,000, Beautiful, well put together muscle mass, and muscle masses are on the world stage. Six pack, obviously, hey, six pack goes without saying, and plenty of others. Very, very good sire, uh, and done very well in Ontario also. So, were we welcome? Yeah. I thought would bring sixty or seventy thousand dollars. I really did, and I thought there was, and I told our clients right up front. I put her at number eight or nine in the video because I told you also. This sale, the way it will be, we will not be able to afford this filly. I'm glad we were. $41,000, I had to haggle the 41 out too. 40, they wanted 42, 42, they were acting like they were gonna drop the hammer. And I know all the auctioneers because they do all the same sales. And I look right at the guy, I said 41,000. Sometimes obviously people jump right back in at 42, but it's $1,000. So 40, he said 41 then, 41,000. Hammer goes down, we bought her for $41,000. That was war that's we... A lot. That's a lot of money, you're right. It is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money for this filly. It's a beautiful filly. Remember the and... one that went for $2,000? <laughs> yeah, I do. So, <laughs> war are we welcome? War are we welcome uh, is a, was a, um, a welcome purchase in, uh, in London. Given the, given the sale, how hot it was, how strong it was, but I told everybody two months ago that's what would happen. Remember, I told you guys we have Lexington, we'll probably buy 10, we brought 15. We had two sent to us, that was 17. And 
given the given the proximity of Lexington to Her to to London and then Harrisburg on the way, it's a tight time. It's a bit constrictive, right? Factor that in with I knew exactly what would happen. I know a lot of people said I'm not paying 30 percent. The exchange is 30 percent at the border. We paid about 50 or 60 percent in London over the last two days for a number of horses, and that's what happened. And I told everybody that's exactly what would happen. It did, but there were some there were some bargains. I thought I told everybody also, right? Uh, yesterday, we'd get the war we needy the war we needy colt. He's worth 12 to 15 thousand. That's what we got him for. 12, right on the bottom of what I said he would bring right in the middle of what I thought this filly was worth, she brought. And then we had Jody sent his horse, which was a uh, royalty for life colt, to the farm. And I said, listen, this colt's gonna have to sell himself because I got a lot of horses to sell and a lot of work to do between now and even the new year. I can't commit to anything. And, and Jody wanted to send the horse down here and have him train here. Beautiful colt. You can see the difference of a horse that is just taken care of well and uh, treated well and then a horse that is finished off by a breeding firm, quite a difference. And uh, Jody and Steph did a great job with Ro Royal Tyrone. He looks great, but he doesn't look as sleek or as shiny as certainly not as War We Welcome or as the other War We Was Up, the, the War We Needy Colt. Did you so, see what we did to her yeah, tag? Yeah, it's beautiful, it looks nice. So uh, that that's it. We have three horses coming back from London. Two we purchased. I told everybody two days ago we were going to be extremely frugal in London. And the $41,000 horse, it isn't the amount that she cost. It was the amount she should have cost. And I believe we did very good. Uh, people can argue about War We Needy as a sire all you want. But when you see how good War We Was Up looks, that argument will be over. So uh, War We Was Up looked great. Very happy with him. Um, War We Welcome. 33 War horse. The 33 that's right. That's War We Was Up. War We Welcome was number 183, and then Jody's horse was number. What are you doing with the glove on? War We Royal Tyrone is Jody's horse. So we have three new horses for the stable. Three new horses in now. Tomorrow they'll be broken. They'll jog. They'll jog tomorrow, and we will have videos of all three of them for you. We are trying to figure out the total because we had some private horses arrive that weren't on the site yet. Some that were just added. We're well north of 50, 50 horses. I think not well north. I think 53, 54 yearlings in the burn. Uh, now, I'll give everybody, I don't know, sweetie, I'll give everybody a heads up right now. We have Indiana next week, and make no mistake, we have clients in Indiana, we have a couple of our, our uh, friends that are trainers going to Indiana. I don't think I'm going to go to Indiana. If there's interest in Indiana, if you would like an Indiana bread, speak up. Speak up now or forever hold your peace, because I can't go there swinging blindly in in, in uh, Indiana. Right now, I'm trying to put together groups for Harrisburg, looking at horses for Harrisburg. London is over. Indiana's next week. We only have two Indiana breads. I'd like to have four, but I won't be doing it on my own. This won't be an uphill battle, uh, a crusade of mine next week. So there it is. That's it. That's the London sale is over. Two horses purchased in London and three entering the stable.ca. I'll get the rest of your videos done in the morning, um, can't do them tonight. I'm in the grocery store parking lot. I'm not gonna sit here for an hour and a half. So I will get them done tomorrow morning for you and out to you later tomorrow afternoon. Talk to you guys soon. Hope you had a great weekend. It went exactly to plan.